Okay, what we have is a uh, box light Pro 4500 D, uh, DP. And I had to completely take this thing apart to remove the power supply, to which I then had to break into two halves. The lower half has the power supply in it, and the top half is the lamp control boards. This is a dual lamp projector, so there's actually two of these lamp control boards. I've taken one out, and that's that's the other one in there. And the lamp control board actually looks like this. And right here, two optocouplers or photo transistors. And there's the third one. Now, this projector has a five pin communication cable. And I've been told that uh, you can't do the simple shunting method because this uses UART communication versus the logic levels on the common three pins. So I've basically been told it can't be done, but I don't believe that. Um, one of, on a forum online, one of the guys was saying to take the wire bundle from that five pin connector and uh, simply ground it, ground each of them off individually until you find one that will allow the projector to stay on without a lamp or with your replacement or what have you. Um, unfortunately I cannot test that method because as you see this unit in particular it has to be nearly completely assembled before you can power it on there's just so many ground points and connections that need to be need to be closed before the unit will uh, give an okay signal um, so I'm providing the pin out for the five pin connector hoping someone will see it and be able to help me figure this out I know that I'm not the only one in this boat the control board is uh, OSRAM configured and what what details that is which side the five pin connector is located on if it's located on the side with the two optocouplers it's OSRAM configured if the five pin connector were soldered onto these pads with the individual photocoupler it uh, would then be Phillips configured so I know that this lamp control board is is present in other models and it can't be strictly limited to box light Osram is a a light manufacturer and their goods are supplied for a lot of different companies so if someone can just help me figure out what wires to bridge or what wire to ground based on my pinout information it would be greatly appreciated and most likely a help to many other people than myself a lot of people online have five pin communication cables and they're just doing trial and error stuff as well but a lot of people have been able to get them to work uh, using the individual wire grounding method unfortunately I'll have to know which one it is for sure first because I can't test it I'll have to pick the wire ground it then reassemble the unit and see if it works